guys, Sebastian here. Uh, I'd like to brush up on another uh, burpee topic, okay? I could do so many tutorials on this thing that it would probably fill an entire hard drive, honestly. Um, burpees are one of my favorite exercises and just from what they have given me, um, in my opinion, they're a very complicated move uh, to actually make work for you. Um, there's a lot of different ways to doing them, okay? There's a lot of varieties of the burpee, okay? Some are more excessive, I, in my opinion. A lot of it's like variation overkill, you know. Um, in my opinion, there's no need to, you know, go down to the floor, do like three push-ups, two mountain climbers, and whatever, what have you, before you stand up and jump. Okay, that defeats the purpose of a burpee. It's meant to be a swift move, and it's meant to tax the cardio system. Okay? Now, <clears throat> what I would like to brush up on, actually, uh, as far as me and my clients go, the reason why I would prefer my clients to, to transition from the regular squat thrust, in other words, squat thrust is pretty much the burpee without the push-up, okay, uh, numerous reasons, okay, safety for the lower back, second reason is uh, just plain advancement, okay, you want to challenge the movement a little bit, okay, and as far as the, the first reason, okay, the bottom position of the burpee when you're extended out, okay, and it doesn't matter whether you do the full squat and kick out or just, just drop right to the floor, that position here in the push-up position, okay, a squat thrust, you would just not do the push-up itself, you would just kind of come back up, okay, and jump up or stand up, okay. Now here, when you're here, Okay, you're doing the burpee, you get maybe 25, 30, 40, 50 consecutive reps, okay? Like that, um, without the push-up, okay? What's gonna happen, when you start fatiguing, I always say, when, when fatigue kicks in, form goes out the window, okay? Now, if you don't have the structural integrity, then you have no business doing it that way anyway, okay? Or pushing a movement as, as that to fatigue anyway. You wanna develop proper muscle strength to be able to handle it in the presence of fatigue, okay? But anyway, here, when fatigue starts setting in and you're not dropping down to the push-up, what happens is your hips start to sag, start to sag here, okay? Upon coming up, okay? So you would kick out, okay? Let's pretend I'm fatigued, I'm out of breath, I'm at my like 80th rep, okay? I'm gonna be here, okay? And all this is starting to happen, and what that does, uh, it causes a lot of strain on the lower back, okay? And that's not something that you want while doing a routine like that, okay? And what's good about doing the push-up, graduating into the push-up version, okay? It's here. I can't, my hips cannot fall further than the floor here, so I'm, my back is relatively safe from here. And from here, it's just about me like, Springing up, okay, popping the hips up, and getting out of that push-up position. Okay. That's one other way to get out of that push-up position, to spring those hips up as hard as you can, get okay, into a V-up position almost. Uh, this is the reason why I always like to transition my clients from the regular squat thrust, okay, which again is a burpee without the push-up, okay, into the real full burpee, okay. Don't worry about it. You know, it, it, it might be slow at first. The push-up portion might be rigid until, like, you, you're you able to sink the hips and the upper body together to be able to kind of, you know, spring you out of that bottom position right there. See how the hips are coming out a little bit? Then, like, this is the floor. My hand's on the floor, okay? I'm down here in the push-up position. What you want to do literally is boom, right there. Use those hips to kind of spring you out of it, okay? The hip complex is a very, very powerful body part, okay? Use it. It's meant to be used, okay? Especially in the burpee. If you want to get out of that sticking point and start to advance, give that a shot, okay? Whether you drop to the floor or not, you can squat to the floor, pr practice it. Even get in the push-up position and practice that springy, practice having those springy hips, okay? Get into the push-up position and try to pop out of it as hard as you can, okay? Then eventually you could try to incorporate it into a routine do a few reps here and the sneak a few reps here and there um, into the burpee 
and before you know it, you'll you'll definitely be able to progress, and the burpee will be smooth. Okay.